hiker, so looks like we have another injured hiker. When are these people going to understand this is dangerous? Okay, so I see the search helicopter looking for those two missing hikers on Mount Baldy, close to the summit. I hope they find them alive and well. Okay, so I'm about 7,300 feet and I already asked somebody who said they turned around because it's too sketchy and they had crampons and ice axe. So I'm going to go to Ski Hut <clears throat> and reevaluate from there. Okay, so I'm about 7,700 feet. Crampons are on as it's getting steeper and deeper. Okay, so you want to stay away from that chute at all cost. I'm almost at the ski hut. All right, so I'm almost at the ski hut which is about 8,200 8, feet, and I'm at 8,100 feet. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we just left the ski hut. That's Doug over there. I'm gonna try to stick with him. We're taking the standard ski hut trail, or it's called the summer route. We'll see how that goes, but definitely staying away from the bowl. Okay. That's the sign right there. And I'm approaching the rock garden right here. Oh, look at all this <laughs> snow. Okay, let's see how far I get. Okay, so I'm going up what they call the um, summer route or the standard ski hut trail. And man, there's so much snow. We just talked to two people turned around right before the uh, switchbacks. They said it's too deep and icy and windy. We'll see. Friends. Okay, so here's the um, sign. This is the deepest I've seen it. I, I'm thinking that's like at least four feet deep, if not more. And that's um, West Baldy over there. And that's the uh, bowl. Okay. That's the Narrows. This is, we're at about 8,900. There's the bull up there. All right, I don't know if you might be able to tape. <laughs> and it was beautiful. But it's, it's not windy now. No, yeah, yeah. So it's springtime. Yeah. It's actually even kind of warm. Hell, it stays like this. I'm going for the summit. <laughs> Look at how much snow is <laughs> on these slopes. Okay, this is where it's getting kind of steep. And we might have to turn back. This is where you have to make decisions. Okay, there goes Doug. This is very steep, very icy, very dangerous. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, so we decided to play it safe turn around because it was just way too steep you can see uh, yeah we could have made it up but coming back down it's just gonna be a little too scary okay folks this is the real deal we made it to about 9,000 feet we decided to turn around there's a very good reason they're telling people to stay away 
not high care, not for beginners or even intermediates. I mean, it could have been done, but coming down would have been very sketchy. Remember, going down is always harder than going up. Okay, okay, so now yeah, off the steep part. Uh, I think to myself, you know, why risk your life and well being when you know, the mound's not going to go anywhere? It's always going to be here. It's not far at all. It takes me less than an hour to get here. So, yeah, live to climb another day and. I gain some valuable experience. Um, so yeah, not all is lost. Let's see, I'll show you what we have on the other side here in a second. Crampons on. the bowl looking both bowl beautiful and there's when I'm going down there's a rock garden and the ski hut over there so I'm looking down at the rock garden you can see the giant boulder there and I see some tracks where maybe people attempted the bowl I don't know okay so I can see why there have been so many accidents here recently. This place, yeah, has just so many hazards between avalanche, rock fall, um, ice falling from these trees. I've seen huge chunks come off. That's why I'm wearing my helmet, so if one does hit me, you know, it won't be that devastating, but I don't know. I'm sure it's still hurt. Don't want to experience that, or a pine cone even. Okay. Okay, so I would consider myself somewhere between beginner and intermediate when it comes to mountaineering. I have climbed Mount Rainier, um, Mount Shasta twice, Pico de Orizaba in Mexico, which is like 8,600, but that wasn't too technical because the snow field does have an elevation of 18,600, but no. Baldy right now. I would say it's more difficult than Shasta in May, at least. Probably not right now, but, um, and yeah, I mean, there are no glaciers with crevasses, but hey, <laughs> there's plenty of other stuff out here. It's just waiting to kill you. If you give it the chance. Just exiting the rock garden now. Man, my I have my balaclava on, the beanie on, my head is still cold. And the helmet on too. I think it's the combination of the temperature, I don't have a thermometer and the wind chill. 
Well, look at that spin drift up there. go down as one of the uh, iciest yeah. years on record. Yeah, even for them, right? Well, that guy died a couple years ago. Search and rescue? Yeah, a search and rescue guy died in the bowl. Damn. They were looking for that guy that stood off of the West Baldy Trail. Hey man, when it whites out, I turn around and go home. Almost got lost at the ski area in a whiteout once. Stellar Jays and the Mountain Chickadees. <laughs> Drop some crumbs and they pick them up. See, there's the Stellar Jay with the Frida. <laughs> there's the uh, Mount Chickadee. Just at the ski hut taking a break. Man. Okay, so it looks like um, oh for three this year in 2023 for Baldy attempts. But come on, look at this. <laughs> What's going on here? There's a good reason for that. It's crazy. Beautiful. One last before I head back down. I was wondering what that noise was. Sure enough, I looked over there. <laughs> the woodpeckers making a little hole. Huh. I think I hear rock fall or something over there. Yeah, this place is crazy. Whoa, see that? That's why I have my helmet on. Okay, so I hear the uh, search and rescue helicopter looking for the uh, missing hikers. Coming around again. Okay. Hi. I think they're trying to call out for somebody.
had to rescue another hiker. Uh, boy, these people just don't understand. <laughs> 